coming up in this video. I've got a cocktail using Chambord Black Raspberry Liqueur. Uh, it's kind of a raspberry and hazelnut martini kind of thing. But as always, I want you to come up with the names. So if you want to see my recipe, stay tuned. Hey Drix fans, I am Steve DeBarman and I hope these videos help you drink, serve and enjoy your favourite spirits, your favourite liqueurs, whatever your favourite brand is, I'll help you drink and enjoy them even more. That's what I'm all about. Today's video is all about Chambord Black Raspberry Liqueur. I've done a couple of uh, cocktails recently. This is kind of like a, a raspberry and hazelnut martini, so let's dive straight into it. I am going to use, as my kind of martini glasses, coupe glass, baby sham glass. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is just chill that down. So I'm just going to load that with ice. Get that nice and chilled with a stuck ice cube. There we go. I'm going to make it in a cocktail shaker. Uh, so it's obviously going to get shaken up. First ingredient I want is some Chambord Black Raspberry Liqueur. And I want 35 ml. All right. There we have it. Now, as this is only 16.5%, uh, I think it is. Yep, 16.5% ABV. Just kind of need to pep it up a little bit with uh, some vodka. You could use a raspberry vodka, no problems with that at all. I'm just going plain, my pouring sort of vodka, which is Stolly, uh, just to kind of give it that little bit of oomph. And I just want 15 mil. Oh, I always do that with that. There we go, 15 mil. Always pour too much vodka in there. It's never a bad thing. Right, so 35 mil, 15 mil, it kind of takes us up to the 50. Uh, right, two more ingredients to come. The first of which is some hazelnut syrup. Now, you could make hazelnut syrup uh, yourself. I'll be honest, I've never made a nut syrup, so if anyone knows how to make a nut based syrup, uh, crack on and let me know. I just find it easier just to buy them in. So, links in the show notes of where you can get this from. Uh, Drink stuff, we always love drink stuff. Right, 15 mil, one five. And this is a really lovely, vibrant syrup. Absolutely love this brand. It's brilliant for syrups and purees. Right, now the last ingredient, uh, well there's two more to come actually, but the main, last main ingredient, uh, I'm going for this. Now I just kind of wanted to create sort of a creamy, ish based cocktail but as I've mentioned before in these videos as we're getting a bit older I can't really handle my dairy too much I love it but I can't really handle it uh, ice cream is the one non-negotiable though so we, we love a bit of ice cream uh, so I've started using uh, these sort of Alpro um, nut milks and that I've tried I've done a coconut um, used coconut before in cocktails I've got some chocolate I do like chocolate so and this is hazelnut I did crack this the other day and a little try it's really really nice so I just want 15 ml of hazelnut milk Right, now as this hasn't got the consistency of cream thick sort of thing and so therefore won't um, froth up as much, instead of using egg whites I'm just going for my sort of standard um, bitters, my standard foamers, this little bottle is the equivalent of 160 egg whites, uh, vegan friendly, long life, it's absolutely amazing. So I just want about a third to a quarter of a pipette, just need to give it a shake, there we go, third to a quarter of a pipette. About that much, and that'll just add that sort of frothy consistency, just to kind of layer a garnish on top, which is we need in a bit. Right, so that is all my ingredients. I just need to ice this up now. Now, as always, uh, I haven't got a name for this cocktail, so that's where I need your get your your help, please. Uh, you've been amazing up until now. Some absolutely amazing names coming through in the comments. Whatever you can. The obvious one is a hazelnut and uh, raspberry and hazelnut martini. It's a bit boring, though, isn't it? So I need your help to come up with some names. That will then transfer into my cocktail book. Now you can always get the free cocktail book in any of the comments in any of my videos. Uh, that's the kind of standard cocktail book. But my updated version, which I do every month, I think we're up to about 50 plus cocktails in there now. So month four, I've just published. Uh, you can get that in my Patreon, my membership tier. So go and check uh, my Patreon out. Links in the description and the comments below. Right, 
and it's massive massive thank you to uh, my patreons that support me i love you guys thank you right hard fast shake good sort of 10 to 12 seconds you know the drill proper welly I have to say, I love this bar now. I've got so much room behind this bar, my bum doesn't hit the shelves behind me. Right, brilliant. Let's just take the tin out, glass out. Now, just need to get rid of the ice out there. That's nicely chilled down. Pop that to one side. Now, just gonna, because there'll be little tiny shards of ice in there, we've got a martini glass. I'm just going to double strain. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Now, the garnish for this two, I'm going two. It's going to be an obvious one here as well. First one, I've got one here, just already made up. Kind of got a little raspberry kebab. And then someone shouted this out a few videos ago, and I've used it a couple of times. God, I love a flake, in you? I've already had a little nibble. Sorry. But I'm just going to crumble some flake over the top. There we, there we have it. Oh, this is the flake. I've forgotten all about flakes and twelves. I love them. Right, popping up on screen now. Eating with a flake in my mouth. Popping up on screen now will be even more shabble cocktails for you to dive into. As I say, let me know uh, what sort of name suggestions you come up with. Oh, that is so good. Hazelnut and raspberry. Oh. See you soon.